Getting back to slavery, where did the debt slave traders figure into this? You know, the literature that's commonly available, I mean, the Dutch slave traders got here before uh, Columbus, and it's always Dutch, 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 Dutch. Uh, actually, you had in, in uh, just to illustrate that, you had in, in New York State had significant slavery. Uh, as a, as a col colonial uh, state, and I think right even a little bit after the revolution too. This was Dutch. It was the Dutch influence even after the British were there. Uh, their, their depot for the slaves was Curaçao, and much of the uh, Caribbean was under, under this Dutch influence. There was a lot of uh, uh, Jews that had fled from uh, uh, Spain or had been kicked out of Spain and Portugal and had gotten somehow into the Dutch Empire and were in this slave trade. They were, they were not, they were, they were carrying out the Kabbalistic religion. But both Holland and England were actually latecomers in this trade. They did not invent the slave trade. The, the slave trade originates long before there are any blacks in the slave trade. That is the European trade in slaves. It starts off with the Roman Empire with uh, various types of, of large slave operations. And then you have the Venetians, Ven the city of Venice, which is entirely based on occultism and the slave trade, set up by people who were in the slave trade in Rome going to Venice. Venice, Italy, is in many respects the originator of the British Empire, as, as the, what we're talking about tonight. And they're also the originator of many of these concepts of the so-called secret societies. That is, their idea of trade and of business is the, uh, to, to have the cheapest possible labor, to have weak governments everywhere constantly infiltrated by their agents, and to run the world on the basis of banking, secret agreements, and secret government. There's never any constitution or any transparent government. These people in Venice, at a certain point, lost the physical power of their empire, very similar to, to Britain later on. And so what they did at a certain point was to send Venetian uh, bankers, diplomats, and various types of Venetian agents into Holland and England, and eventually took complete power in those countries, set up companies in Holland and England modeled on what the Venice slave traders did. The East India Company of both England and Holland and the West Indies Company of Holland, slave traders and looters of Asia, which is what, what had been done you know, by the Venetians, but also the black slave trade, because Venice was the first uh, European power to do that. Uh, five years after Columbus got here, in 1797, I'm sorry, 1497, Five years after he first landed in the Western Hemisphere, Venice, Venetian merchants, made an official arrangement with the King of Spain to begin sending black slaves from Africa 5,000 a year into the New World. So hardly any white people had settled down anywhere. And there you have to understand why they did that. If you think it's just economics, you are missing the whole point of this. You know, it's like, it's like uh, some communist talking about Africa. Well, you know, the, the colonials go to Africa in order to uh, steal the raw materials. Well, that may be true, but you could get a lot more raw materials out of there if they had an educated workforce, if they lived in decent houses, if they had an education. Why won't you let them have those things? You could make more money if they did. Well, if they did, they wouldn't need you to run their country. It's power. It's power. So the Venetians wanted slavery in the New World because they didn't want the Renaissance here. They didn't want freedom. They didn't want the concept of man's freedom. Because you had another city, Florence. That's the originator of many of our concepts of government. That was opposed to Venice. That said, we, we have a dark world, superstition, epidemics cities cutting their budgets, running out of money, being looted by bankers, people dying, half the population of Europe, a third of the population of Europe died in one plague. 
So the people in Florence said, let's not have this Venetian system running the world. Let's, let's set up, let's look at these little problems uh, as just part of a huge problem. And it's not going to be good enough for us to propose a little solution. Issues. Oh, stick to the issues. Stick to the agenda. No, it's not good enough, they said. We need to solve everything all at once. Nothing else will be practical. Nothing else is going to work. This, this world is too far gone. So they said, let's build up beauty and science and industry and, and revive ancient learning and invent whole new industries and get the entire planet moving on a human basis. Make maps. One of these maps goes to Columbus. That's their project. And you have an opposite faction, an opposite idea in Venice. And the Venetian idea of slavery, of secret government, of man's de degradation, of cults, of the Kabbalah, and so forth. That gets into England. They take over Britain. And eventually, Britain becomes the capital of the slave trade. So, and, and Holland as well. But Holland, at a certain point, is, is, a, is like a, uh, you know, a, 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 a minor partner of, of, of Great Britain and the Britain's power. Yes.